They said in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and the earth was without form and void, and the darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. In the beginning, it was only God. Who was there, aside from God? Who was able to get this part of how the world was created? Who was there to know exactly how God created this earth? What if there is no truth or lies? How did they come up with the word truth? How did they come up with the word lies? Who named these words? What are the criteria that they use to name our words? What if everything are not the things that we know them to be? What if things are just completely different? Why is it that people that tend to go against the norms makes it? Wait a minute. What if we have actually all been lied to? Welcome back to another discourse episode. Today I am back with another very deep topic that I would like us to discuss about. The topic is what is actually the truth and what is the lies? Have you guys ever wondered that when people tend to go against the norms, like the things that we know to be the norms and the truth, they actually do very well. I can't be the only one that I've ever thought about this. But why? Why is it like that? Why is it that when people tend to go against the things that we know that norms are truth, are the way that people should behave, are the things that we should do, they tend to do the opposite of it. They do so well in it. Have you ever wondered if we have all been lied to? Have we all been conditioned to follow other people's perception of truth? Maybe the first generation of people, and we don't even know what the exact truth is. Let's take a quick look at our words. Every word that we know and make use of today was formed by someone like you and I. And it's the same words that they wrote the word of God that we follow with. It doesn't matter whichever language the word is. It is people that come up to this word and give meaning to it. Who are the people that name these words? Who are these people that form our words? Who are the people that give meaning to each word? What are the criteria that they use to give meaning to our words? Does this word and everything that we know actually mean what they mean? Or we have all just been following the belief of what some people believe it to mean? For example, this is a pen. We all believe this is a pen. Why? Because we've been told that it's a pen. What if this pen is not named pen and it is named pencil? We will still all believe that it's a pencil. It is function. This is a book. And how do we know it's a book? Because we've been told it's a book. If they had named this book a pen, everyone would believe it's a pen. What are the criteria that they use to name this book a book? Where do they come up with the name book? They said to go for pencil. If this pencil had been named a book, everybody would believe it's a book. And whatever they say the function is, is what we are going to think the function is. And the same thing goes for everything that we know today. For things to be in order, probably they just have to name things. And that is why they give everything a name, which is very good. Because if nothing has a name, I don't know how we would have been able to be communicating, to put a name on things, to say what this thing is. As I have like this, I'm a human. If I don't have a name, everybody will just be human, 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 human. Which is very understanding. Now, I can personally be identified as Onyikosola. That does not mean I am Onyikosola. But this is the name that was given to me. I have to bear that name and it's become my identity. This is just the little way I've been able to understand this so far. I think about these things a lot. That what if, what if, everything that we just believe to be true, there's actually no complete truth. They said in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. In the beginning, it was only God. Because the first verse in the Bible says that, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And the darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Who was there aside from God? And who was able to get this part of how the world was created? Did God tell the story of how this world was created? I don't really, I didn't get that. <sighs> I think I overthink things a lot. I'm a very deep thinker. How do people come up with these things? I'm a Christian. I believe in the word of God. Because we've been told it's the word of God. Whatever does not sound true to me there, I scrap it out. Whatever sounds true to me there, I make use of it. My own view of you know the world and life in general and existence is that if things are like this, are like this, are like this, there must have been a superior being because it's beyond my understanding. 
that's what makes me agree that yes there must be a superior being that exists to put all these things together the hand the eyes the, the nose that even makes it the way that makes a human to go inside another human's body that is supernatural so i believe there is a supernatural being up there and i believe in god so this thing goes to other things other every other thing that we are meant to believe what is being so many things that we have taught are not meant to be done what if they are not actually bad who formed these beliefs around things who gave meaning to all these things who gave a definition to everything what if we have just been conditioned to believe other people's perceptions of things of the way things should be done of what should not be done the way they believe the world life human everything should operate i don't know myself and that is why i'm here today to ask you guys what do you think i would really love to hear your opinion about this topic in the comment section below guys i don't know if we have been talking about this, you've been imagining the way we have been imagining it all this day. so like always you guys are my guests for today's discourse and I want to hear your opinion and your view about this topic. What do you think is the truth or the lies? And how do we actually believe that this thing that we've been told is the truth are actually the truth? I'm very eager to learn from you guys and not just me. Everybody watching this video would love to learn from you. Thank you very much for watching this far and continue supporting the channel by liking this video so that you can reach a wider audience. Thank you. And remember to subscribe to please subscribe. That's the only way that you can support me and support the channel. And until next time, stay blessed. Bye.